We're back now at 914. We are quickly moving toward Christmas and you may be scrambling for ideas for some folks on your list. So I asked Pat Kowitzel from Magic City Books to help me with some suggestions for those readers in our lives. And I have a lot of them and they range from kiddos all the way up to senior citizens. That's right. But everybody loves, most everybody loves to read. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And I brought six books uh, this morning to talk about a little bit so that all of these are ones that we have at the store, ones that are great last minute gift ideas. You mentioned before the break that we're we're only five days away from Christmas. Uh, you know, people are that or if you're shopping online, the chance of getting it before the holiday is gone. Right. So uh, if you, you got to go out in person and come see us. Well, and it was funny because I asked you, I said, now as we get closer, I want you to bring stuff that you actually have because That's there's right. a lot of things that people will be like, well, I saw it and I want to make sure. So let's get started. As usual, he brought six really unusual different books. That's right. That's What's right. this first one? So the first one is the latest book from Dave Pilkey. Uh, Dave, depending on, you know, kind of when you were reading these kinds of books, you might know him from Captain Underpants, you might know him from Dogman. His latest is kind of a spinoff of that Dogman series, the Cat Kid Comic Club. This is a book about creativity. It's got that signature Pilkey kind of silliness and, and, and his his style. Um, Dave Pilkey's a great friend of ours at Magic City Books, and so we're really excited awesome. whenever he has a new one. Oh, well, I remember Captain Underpants <clears throat> very well when my kids were growing up. Now, now this one we actually had the folks on from the foundation right. share with us about yeah, that. Yeah, so uh, last year one of the biggest books of the year for us was uh, Good Night Tulsa, a book that the Tulsa Foundation for Schools had put together illustrated and written by Tulsa school teachers. Uh, they have a follow-up to that book that just came out a couple weeks ago called Celebrate Tulsa. Uh, we've got a lot of copies of that. It makes a perfect holiday gift all about the different celebrations that we have here in Tulsa. Love that. Now the second book that you have here is Brene Brown. Yes. Super popular. Very popular. Very popular. This one just came out right before, uh, right at the start of the holiday season. Been a very, very popular book. Um, there's a lot of folks that, uh, you know, really have gotten a lot of inspiration from Brene Brown through the years. She's written a lot of one, wonderful bestsellers. This book is, is no exception. Okay, and the next one we have? Our poet, uh, our Young People's Poet Laureate and uh, inaugural poet, Amanda Gorman. Uh, many people remember her from the, her inaugural poem uh, that, that she read at the, at the inauguration. Her collection, this is her very first collection called Call Us What We Carry. Uh, it is a collection of, of lots of poetry, including that inaugural poem. A wonderful, um, you know, gift book, for, especially for kind of like teens or young adults. Uh, you know, if, if you're not sure what to get them, this would be a great book. And probably might spark even the opportunity to start writing That's and right. kind of journaling and that kind of thing. Yes. Okay, this last one definitely caught my eye. Yeah. Uh, I have, I know several Beatles fans that are yes. off the chart excited about this That's one. right, and many people are watching uh, uh, the wonderful documentary on on Disney Plus, this um, the Beatles get back or Apple, whichever streaming service it's on, um, and so and so this is kind of the companion book that goes with with those. Uh, with that documentary, lots of never before seen photos and, and behind the scenes information, a great gift for music lovers. And it's a beautiful hardback cover yes. too, so that's really nice too. And the last one I wanted to show here. The last one is uh, the latest memoir from our United States Poet Laureate and Tulsa you know, resident, our good friend, Joy Harjo. Her, uh, we, we've got signed copies at the store um, of, of Poet Warrior, plus all of the other books by Joy Harjo, um, her poetry collections and everything. And so makes a great holiday gift. Uh, Joy is just, you know, a wonderful addition to our community. She's been part of the Tulsa Artist Fellows. And great representation, right. representative to uh, the outside world, if you will. That's Those right. who don't think of what, what, what happens in Tulsa. Right. Besides books, what other stuff do you have at Magic? Uh, you know, little stocking stuffers, um, you know, a lot of book related things, coffee mugs and t-shirts and um, socks and, and uh, you know, a lot of little gifty kind of things that are perfect to fit right in the stocking. Well, we want to let folks know you have uh, this week, you'll have be open, are you open? We're open all the way through Friday. Uh, we are open on Christmas Eve until four. Okay. And so if you really are the last minute shopper <laughs> and I have been there, I have been that shopper many times in my life. And so uh, we're there till four. Okay, very good. And we'll put that on our website at newson6.com. They're located just around the corner from us here in downtown Tulsa. We Wish you all the best. Now, uh, we're, Pat will not be with us next month. He and his wife are expecting their second baby. So congratulations to you and Jillian. Thank I you. know it'll be exciting. A little boy on the way after the new year. Didn't quite get the tax deduction <laughs> in for 2021. Anyway, right. uh, we will see you back in February. Great. Thanks, Thanks Pat. Leanne.